something special for you guys under here. Here's a little peek under the skirt. What do you think's under the cover? I gave him a little peek under the skirt. What's your name? A little one, just a tire. Just a tire. What do you guys think with just this tire? Here, that, that's a pretty big peak right there. What do you guys think? A few inches later. Let's see what we got here. What's up, guys? Sam from That Racing Channel, back again. Up here in West Palm Beach with our friends at HP Logic. Gonna be checking out Jack's RX7. <laughs> Pretty excited, I'm a big RX-7 fan myself, so let's get this show on the road. Roberto's 300, this thing's sweet. This car's been on the channel before. GTST, I'm pretty sure. Wide body uh, R35. Pretty clean S13. No shortage of cool 90s cars here. As much as I love the flip-up lights, I really like these ones too. Yeah. Like yeah. a cooler updated version. Sleek. Yeah. Headlights. Now this this isn't just a normal RX-7 though. No, it, it, it's, it starts off as something that you'd find in a car show, right? Yes. But then you start to look at the interior, start seeing stuff that's not supposed to be done. Yeah, this looks a little, <laughs> something's going on here. Yeah, it's got a full cage in it and everything is, everything is pretty much set up to, uh, do some, some fancy stuff. Yeah, this stuff looks... The hood is a little different. Looks pretty serious to me here. So this, the essence of this car, the whole, like, whole idea that I have is to build like a, a JGTC style car, mm -hmm. which is like the Japanese Grand Tour yep. Championship. Track, track right. car. So those cars are not turbo. Those cars are NA. They run a 20B. Oh. So here we have a 20B. Now for those that don't understand how rare this motor is and what a 20B is. Back in the 90s, obviously, they made the FDs. The FDs were a 13B yep. two rotor. And for, like I said, for the, the racing championship, they used the three rotor. The three rotor actually came out of a Japanese car called the Yunos yep. Cosmo. And the Cosmo was like a luxury car. It wasn't even like a sports car. Yeah. So that car came with the 20B, which is the three rotor. Now that, that motor was a, a twin turbo, came with two little turbos mm -hmm. that work sequentially. The sequential turbos, right? Yeah. yeah. So it was kind of comparable to like a Supra power wise. Yep. So this motor is started off as a 20B. It was completely disassembled by these guys up in Ohio called Defined Auto Works, okay. a guy named Logan. He completely re-engineered this motor, and uh, it's a pretty in intense rebuild. The core of the motor is using 9.7 to 1 compression rotors, which is up from the typical lower compression rotors okay. for turbo. So it's got a little higher compression. It has ceramic apex seals. Um, it has everything. The, the whole rotating assembly was balanced by Carlos Lopez, and he that's a, a real famous name in rotary. For Engine those. builder, yeah. yeah. They're really interesting. So it this is. being a tri-rotor, it has three of those in three there. Three rotors, yep. Yes. And you can tell by counting the intake ports or looking at, you know, okay. motor housings. Yeah, we'll get more in depth into the engine shots and all that too and get up in here, but this is serious. Yeah, it's a it's I mean, a this is a serious build right here. Do you know power levels? Have you guys this, dynoed it yeah, with this, the setup? The, the motor is making around, right now, mm -hmm. uh, it's making around 300 and 70 horsepower okay. at the motor. Yeah. The cool thing about this motor is it actually has an extra set of ports on the rotor housings called peripheral ports. Okay. They're not open right now in this configuration because 
they were closed off to keep the power level down to in, in the 300s yeah. for, for racing. For racing, yeah. As it sits right now, it's 2,500 pounds. Yeah, that's stupid light for a car. Really light, yeah. for, especially with a cage and everything in it. Very, very, very light. light. And I know um, these tri-motors can handle a lot of power if you wanted to, right, to crank it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's guys turbocharging and I'm making 2,000 horsepower. Yeah, they handle stupid amounts Crazy. of power. Talk about this front end because this is a little different. This is, this is a Mazda Speed GTC. They call it. Okay. It's a Mazda Speed. That's GTC. cool. So it's a Mazda front end. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. really cool. And and the, the bumper was actually completely redone. This this bumper was used in racing. Mm -hmm. This one was actually used in racing on this car. So yeah. this this is actually carbon laid over. So the guy, the, my, my body guy, actually, uh, big shout out to Tommy, the, the, the painter. He actually took this bumper, dissected it. His guys completely dismantled this bumper and rebuilt it themselves and they incorporated this carbon bottom there. They wrapped it over, yeah. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, so they were able to remove a lot of fiber material stuff, and stuff yeah. and make it make it a lot lighter. Really, really cool we, little touch. We got rid of like the lights and we have, we have the, these. I love carbon. these, yeah, I love this. Yeah. These brakes are pretty hefty too, because these are the, uh, these are the Nextel cups. Oh these shit, brakes. yeah. These are Brembo X9s, I think they call them. These are these are right off of a, a Le Mans or or a Nextel Cup. No oh, shit. Yeah, so they're really pretty nasty. Brembo titanium pistons. They're they're very. Are they high are they noisy? Or are they? Yeah. Yeah. Real, I real figured noisy. I figured they would yeah. be. Any really good race brake is gonna make some noise. Yeah. Once they get a little heat in them, they are unbearably noisy. Yeah. It's that's kind of how mine is too. It drives yeah. me nuts. It's kind of, that's being pushed by a, a set of Alcon floating ma master cylinders. So those are pretty high end also. Yeah, that's pretty trick. That's Anybody cool. Anybody knows what they're looking at will notice those. Keep that brake pressure up. Exactly, real good. You got one for the front, Especially when you got those rears. heavy brakes like you have. Yep, and it's got the big ones in the back as well too, so we're not, not missing any corners here. No, not at all. That's cool. The suspension is a T and Trackmasters. So it's a, it's a decent setup. It's not yeah. really, you know. Not overkill, but yeah, yeah, no, it's good. TN makes great stuff. Yeah. And these are some pretty serious tires on here too, these Continentals. Yeah. These are yep. track tires, right? Yep, these are full track tires. These are, yeah. these are actually, I believe, they were takeoffs from a World Endurance Challenge, one of those. A legitimate racing tire, yeah. racing compound. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're takeoffs. I, I don't plan to really hardcore race the car, mm -hmm. but I want to keep the the theme, you know? Yeah, I mean, this, I'm sure for you, is just a dream come true car right exactly. here, right? Exactly, yeah. that's what it is. I, I really yeah. wasn't trying to get into actually competing with the car. Yeah. I just wanted it. It's, yeah. it's like no, having, I don't... you know, some people collect like guns and stuff, you know, and they have these giant <laughs> You collect RX-7s yeah, and, you know? and, and uh, like JDM cars, well. Yeah, we got a little thing carbon is awesome, man. back here. This yeah. is a pretty high-end piece too. So cool. Yeah, it covers up like the lights and stuff. I don't think I've ever seen one of these on an RX-7. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, it's um, Esprit is the name of the company okay. that makes these. Esprit came out with these, and they, it's it's like the, the car is the car obviously had a wing on it before, yeah, like a big see. GT wing, you know. But I got different plans for it. I'm gonna eventually probably go with a little wide body. I'd like to do, but for now, I just wanted to put this on there to kind of give it something. Yeah, I mean, like full blown race car. It's got windows, but the window mechanisms are all gone. Like they're just pinned in. These are. This is the factory glass, or yeah. is it the? <laughs> yeah. So they just come out. They just like come out with a cotter pin. This is really cool. Mugen steering wheel, which is really strange. It's you know, Honda stuff. Yeah. Mazda, but it's a badass wheel. Really nice wheel. Yeah. Actually, pretty cool too. This is a this is actually a six-speed RX-8 transmission. No way. Yeah. The sound out of like a normal 13B is kind of buzzy. Yes. You know. Yes. A little little bit of, of buzz to it, but these have more of a woo, like a whomping. Yes. Yeah. So really interesting, really awesome sound, and I think that when people hear them, they immediately identify. Yeah, 100 percent. Different. You know? 100 percent. So let's go ahead and. Wrap a little, shall we? Wrap. I'm sure there's a bit of a procedure to turn this thing on, right? Yeah, I mean, it's basically we're just looking for everything here. Ignition on. You ready? Yep.
completely cold start right there too, right? It's completely it's cold. Completely cold. Yeah. yeah.
brakes, we can only do so much. Like, like I've, I've felt this coming into that turn way too fast, but you're right. still just like, boop, just a little tweak it, it lines it right up, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this thing with high horsepower would be all over the place. Yeah. It's, a, it's way a, more responsive and controllable see, the way yeah. it is now. Yeah. yeah. So there's two more RX-7s over here. These are also yeah. yours, right? Well, one of them's mine and one of them's Carlos, my girlfriend. Okay. This is my, I want to call it stockish car. So this car is a real RX-7 RZ. So for those of you who don't know about that car, mm -hmm. these are really rare. Um, this is the car, if you have an FD or you dealt with FDs before, people always put these Recaros in. They're always looking for these. They call them RZ Recaros. Okay. This is the RZ, okay. this car. So this is a factory, factory seat. seat yeah. yeah. So in Japan, they had a oh, whole ton of different models. Little RZ. But the RZ is the rarest one. This was the one that was like basically what became the Spirit R. Okay. So it has that the I'm familiar with. There you go. Yeah. So that's, this is where the Spirit R came Initial from. D style. Exactly. You get your carbon Kevlar bucket for cars. No way. A factory, factory yeah. yeah. The little floor. This is factory out of 93, guys. Out of 93, So yeah. that's a huge deal, you know? Yep, and then the, the, that little Oh, thing that's there. cool. Yeah, that's factory. A little racing style. Yep. The BBSs are factory. So it came with these as well. And yeah, Japan was just on their game in the 90s. You know? They really were. They threw everything into these cars at the time. It's crazy. And then, so so this RZ was 200 pounds lighter than the regular RX-7. Yeah, that's wild. So the regular RX-7, which weighed in at like 2,900 pounds. Already light. This is yeah. 2,700 pounds. Yeah. So I've only done a couple little things. Um, and this is Carla's car? This one's mine. This is your car. Yeah, okay. this one's mine. She, but she got me this. Got me this Good job again, girlfriend. Yeah. We gotta give her a shout out. You know what I mean? She's crushing it right now. I'm telling you, she got me this exhaust. This is this is a feed wing. This is a feed Sonic Ti titanium exhaust. Ooh, titanium. Yeah. I always like anything titanium. Me too. So I didn't really alter the car too much. Look at the plate. Those, those two things, and then under the hood. I love this plate. It this is the real like, ones that are bolted in here, yeah. right? And you can't yeah. take these things off. You know? Yeah. In Japan, they are, real yeah, they are serious about their plate protection. You cannot get these things off. Exactly, so you gotta keep it real. So Mazda, instead of marketing these cars as Mazda cars, they marketed them under the name Ifini. So this is the Ifini logo. Yeah, so you have the Ifini RX-7, and that's why it says it right here, Ifini, instead of Mazda. That's some super Japanese shit right there. Exactly. These are, I, I actually uh, took them apart and cut out the circles. So like on a, on a regular 93, they, they're they like a blob style headlight. Oh, they also come from the factory with Bilstein suspension. That's that's another RZ only. Bilstein makes amazing stuff. Yeah. So it goes to show you, whoa. So here's what we got going on. So the motor is pretty factory. Damn, this thing's clean. Then the motor was rebuilt. Um, but it, it's, a, it's a factory 13B turbo, factory turbos as well. But what I've added was and this the, also has a sequential turbo. This is right? sequential, right? Okay, it's still so, running sequential, also because so that's a big deal. Yeah, for those who don't understand, it's a twin turbo system, but 
I believe the second turbo doesn't kick in until like 4,000 RPM. Right, right, right around 4,500. It's, 4, it's, it's actually programmable with this car because I, I put a Haltech in it. Okay. So <laughs> Of course you did. But it's still sequential and that's the big deal because yeah. most people get away from the sequential system. They don't know how to run it. They don't know how to take care a of it. A lot of people do. They've got the single turbos yeah. and they make it free up the space and it's right. a route. But I agree. I like keeping things as they were designed. Yeah. Too. So this one, all it has done really is auto EXE intake. Uh, Which is this carbon intake right carbon, here, right? Yep, it just <laughs> really takes cool. place the factory box and just adds a nice, nice little, little input, input right here. here. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so the, everything on this car is legit. Like, I didn't want to get anything that Bougie. Yeah. eBay. eBay, exactly. This isn't an eBay uh, No, no brace, that's, that's you know? actually factory. <laughs> <laughs> that's factory? Yeah. No sh Yep. So, factory brace, um, the feed intake cover yep night sports super u in intercooler which is pretty cool because instead of it being a single core it's actually two cores sandwiched together they call it a super u because hmm. it's they're they're sandwiched up into a u so the front core see this it's just feeding different yeah, turbos right yeah the front core is actually the secondary core that gets coolest air and then the back core is the core that comes right off the turbos that is cool and then aria memia um uh, AST or air separator. Now that is uh, something that's pretty old school right there. Yeah, they've been in the game for a long time. Long time. Longer than we have. Yep. When it comes to RX-7 stuff. <laughs> They're the originators. They are the stuff. ones, yeah. So, yeah, it's really an honor to have a little piece of that history on there. Very, very cool car. Another very awesome car. Yeah, so now that's pretty much it for this car. What's up, yeah, Carla? my baby. <laughs> What's up? All right, okay. so yeah, this is your 93 Ifini yes, R7. Yes, that is correct. Okay, and yeah. tell me a little bit about this beauty. Okay. It's awesome. Um, lots of nice, like, old school Memia parts on it. Okay. And I really like, I'm a huge fan of Aria Memia, so. She just, like... she, I just want to point something out real quick. <laughs> sure. She's a bigger rotary fan than I ever could That's be. That's amazing. Look at her pants. Where did you find this woman? I don't know. She <laughs> found These are the me. 787B logos yeah. and stuff? Yeah, I noticed that when I pulled up. I'm like, is she wearing 787? I gotta represent the final boss. That's know? amazing. That's, That's a final about, boss. Right. <laughs> Nice Look, Definitely okay. picking up a few horsepower. Look, with I thought I was cool because I got rotary socks. Damn. Where, do you, where does one find rotary socks? Ask her. Easy, easy five horsepower with those. Four I'm going to give her about 20 horsepower with those <laughs> for right. the wheels. Continue. Back Sorry. to the car. It's not like a crazy setup or anything. It's okay. got a lot of exterior modifications. It's a really like. pretty car, though. Thank you. Mazda Speed Wing, which is like super Love cool. Love that. Yeah. Yeah. It's got Memia diffuser on it, it's got titanium exhaust. The diffuser is actually pretty cool too because it's not left the, in the factory configuration. They added these little slats, which cool. are really well put in. So this, Let's you'll recognize that. the diffuser as a, as a normal Amemia old school. I think it's called Type One or something like that. Yeah. But they it added those slats, which is to me really awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool for airflow coming through. Yeah. We're at 18-inch BBS LMs all the way around on RE71Rs. So then I have my Amemia sleek headlight kit. I love these. Love those. I love pop-ups, but I really love these. I say I have equal yeah. love for both of those too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And plus yeah. the pop-up ones, I know the housings are prone to flying off. <laughs> Yeah. So I guess that's one yeah, no problem with benefit the, there. Yeah, a little sleeker for aerodynamics. Yeah, and then we can... Got the Finny the... badge up here again. Yeah. I love how you are into like all the really old school Finny stuff yeah. and Remaya stuff. It's yeah, so it's, cool. It, yeah. How'd you get into that? I don't, you know, I just, I drove my first RX-7 a while ago and I was just hooked on it ever yeah. since then. You know, I love the nature of the engine. I love the balance of the car and I just- Very well balanced feeling. car. I'm glad yeah. you pointed that out yeah. because the yeah. weight distribution in these is like through the roof. Right, almost and then perfect, ever since then it's just been like history, you know? Yeah. So now I have, now I have two RX-7s and I have an RX-8 as my daily. It's like you wow. can't get me to drive That's anything awesome. else. All right, let's fire this old girl up. Some clean RX-7. <laughs> really impressed with this car, honestly. Thank you. That's my baby. And she's driving right-hand drive. Yeah. 
shift and went to left like a boss. <laughs> it's fun being on the right side, isn't it? I really like it. I think I actually prefer shifting with my left hand, but I'm also left-handed. So oh, okay. Well, you get, took me like two months to really Something get used to, to it. it. <laughs> yeah, it's nice enough to take me for a little cruise. Yeah. display you have here in the front yeah um so hks evc ir you can see it shows it's the boost gauge and it shows like what you know the revs and yeah it's pretty cool how fast right yeah so you can change it up and First FD that you've owned? This is my first FD, yep. Okay. I've had an FC before, I still have my FC, but I have that one, and that one is super cool. It's an 88 Turbo 2, and, and that one is awesome for what it is. So you're a Mazda I, rotary well, girl? Rotary, yeah, yeah, rotary. I mean, you know. Gotcha. It's, a, it's my thing. It's not for everybody, but. No, it's not. Um, you got you got bitten by the, by the bug. I, I did, yeah. The rotary and, bug. and I will not drive, I mean, it's really hard to get me to drive anything else at yeah. this point. I'm just and why like, is that? Because you just love the power just, delivery, yeah, the sound, yeah, the experience. Exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's like flying, you know? It's just... It really is a mm -hmm. cool experience being yeah. in these cars. Mm -hmm. I was talking to Jack about that. The sound that they make literally gets your heart pumping. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah, it does. And it's just such a smooth power delivery. And it's like mind warp. You know? not, yeah, I mean, I'm a just... I'm such a big 90s JDM fan. Yeah. So you guys are always over at HP. You guys are always <laughs> hitting the right buttons. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, definitely going to give this. I forgot to stamp Jack's car, but going to give you guys the double stamp TRC approval. Oh, that is awesome. I'm so flattered. And really appreciate you taking the time today, both yeah. you guys, on a Saturday no, to come out here. It's a beautiful day. It's really fun. Really beautiful yeah. day today. Yeah, we got lucky with the weather. <laughs> good, good boost weather for these cars. <laughs> It'll cool out. Exactly. Yeah, I definitely appreciate you guys taking the time to show everyone these really nice RX-7s that you got. <laughs> yeah, we have fun. All right, guys, Sam from That Racing Channel signing off. I want to give a big thank you to the guys over here at HP Logic, especially Jack, bringing out the cars today. Hope you guys enjoyed the feature. See you next time.